Good morning guys, welcome back to my allotment plot. My name's Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Good morning Einstein, can I just, you know, there's lots of gardening content here that you might like or you might just like to follow my personal journey as I try and bring this allotment plot to life. This year it's going pretty well so far. Today the temperature has definitely dropped a bit and we are kind of having a bit of a cold spell. By the end of this week, by the end of next week, it should be warming up a little bit again. So that, that will be good. Looking forward to that again because I miss the sun. We're back to kind of cloudy skies, uh, which is a little bit frustrating, but what can you do? <laughs> Anyway, I have a very exciting job to do today. I ordered some bunting for my plot. Now you might know that I used to have bunting up and I always have bunting up everywhere, but unfortunately it kind of fell down in the last storm. So I brought some more. So let's whack that up, I think. Wow. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so stunning. Oh my goodness. I didn't know it'd be this nice. Wow. So I literally just typed in bunting into Amazon and I found this one which has got all these lovely little floral patterns and then the gingham and the stripes and oh my gosh, I just love it. I just love it. I just thought the colours were very allotmenty because there's lots of greens and blues in here. So I think we're gonna hang this one on my new plot. So the bunting was a little bit longer than I thought it was, but how pretty is that? That is absolutely, I can't tell you how much that's lifted my mood, just hanging some pretty bunting. I don't know if it's useful at all. I don't know if it maybe keep the birds away or, I don't know, but I, I mean, it looks beautiful. Look at it across that little pathway there. Oh, I just love it. And some of the little patterns on it are just gorgeous like i said i got this on amazon i'll actually i'll link to it down below just in case you want to grab your hands on it it is fabric so it won't last that well in the rain and stuff but from my my experience and it does like it does last a while um it might fade a little bit but actually i think that look quite pretty if it fades a little bit and yeah i just i just love it i love it over the teepee as well look at this so cute oh just over the teepee how cute is that going to be with all the sweet peas coming up if they ever come up i don't know how they're doing let's not worry about plants this very second let's um let's just think fun and happy let's put up one more bit of but bunting um butting i was going to say i don't think that'd be very nice to put up um let's put up another bunting on my original plot i think maybe sort of across there yeah let's do that just um, asking for a friend how much bunting is too much bunting <laughs> it is never enough it'll never be enough bunting I love that there that's so pretty I can hardly walk under it but I think it's you know it, it, it makes it worth it they look so pretty so I'll just have to keep ducking and then at the back of the plot here oh my goodness just stunning So I am just snapping the heads off of any tulips that have finished flowering and this should, in theory, make the bulb stronger. So basically it stops the flower from producing seeds. In here this is a seed head basically and it, it's trying to make more of itself. I don't want it to do that so what I'm going to do is snap them off and then leave all of the green foliage to die back and that should feed the bulb ready for next year. And I'm not going to lift my tulips, I never do. 
Um, but what I will do is I'll, st I'll keep snapping off the, uh, the seed heads and letting them die back. So all the foliage I'll just leave to die back. And then, oh, there's one. And then hopefully it'll feed the bulb and they will be um, strong enough for next year. But we will see. And that is also something to bear in mind. If you are planting tulips or spring bulbs at your allotment plot and you want them to come back year after year, just be warned that wherever you plant them, the best thing to do is to let the foliage die back. So you've got to kind of take that space into account. For instance, I'm not going to be able to plant anything here for a little while until all the foliage has died back. And I've, I've sort of made allowances for that, but just make sure that you do as well. As you guys know I'm currently under my pumpkin archway now I have grown quite a few pumpkins at home at the moment I've got all different varieties growing because this is a bigger archway I thought stuff it let's try and whack everything in so we're going for lots of different types of pumpkins and I will talk about that later on in the year I think it's just a bit early to be talking about the pumpkin archway also half of them are not germinating and I can't figure out why I think I've used the wrong compost so I'm in a little bit of a panic at home I don't want to bring it to the vlog because I panic every year and every year it's fine every year I grow it so <laughs> the pumpkins the pumpkins are on their way and the squashes and stuff and I'll talk about that more later but today I thought I might plant in some more runner beans now I'm a little bit bean obsessed this year I don't know if you can tell I have brought some summer loving beans the French beans and stuff just because I want to grow more beans this year and also I didn't realize how high a lot of bean plants grow they are incredible growers they want to just like reach the moon or something so I think it's a great thing to put over an archway or a teepee and I think they look stunning. I'm going to sow some runner beans around my pumpkin archway now. Now if they interfere with the pumpkins I'm just going to pull them out because this is a pumpkin archway but until then let's put something in let's have something growing if we can. So the variety that I am growing is called Firestorm. I've got 40, 40 seeds in here these are definitely runner bean. <laughs> I had to check that like five times and make sure that I've ordered runner beans and not broad beans because broad beans will not climb up an archway. So these are our runner beans. At the moment I have a few little tiny baby nasturtiums. Um, some of my mar marigolds have survived. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them on the outside of the pumpkin, pumpkin archway even. I'm going to plant them on the, on the outside of the pumpkin archway and then hopefully we'll just have some runner beans growing up here. And by the time, the I don't think they'll even interfere with pumpkins to be honest, I reckon I'll be able to whack both out. Beans and pumpkins are friends, they are friends, so they will be happy going out together. Look at this um, bindweed growing up my archway, do you know what I was thinking just then? If all else fails, I'm just going to let the bindweed overtake the archway and at least it'll look pretty. I'll put some sparkly lights in it, some bunting, have all the bindweed over it, all the flowers, at least we'll have something growing. <laughs> But look, the bindweed has got the memo. That's exactly what I want everything else to do, but just not you. <laughs> just not you. But yeah, look, it's really just trying to grow. I mean, that's exactly what I want. Things that I plant here to do, but I didn't plant you guys. So you can all just get lost, just get lost. These aren't um, staying down very well. It's a little bit annoying that the things keep coming up. The soil is just not very good under here, but there we go. Let's stop whacking stuff in. It's stuff growing always helps the soil as well, guys. Better to have something growing than nothing. Also, I just get very impatient. <laughs> right, okay. Run of beansies. You better be run of beans in here, I'm telling you. I can't make the same mistake again. Oh, okay, you flew in. Excellent. <laughs> well done, mate. You went to the right place. These are runner beans. These are runner beans. Right, stuff them all in. Just gonna stuff loads of them in. Loads and loads and loads. God, it's so exciting getting something in the ground. It's such a buzz when I put a seed in. I'll probably never see them again, but even so, it's still exciting.
the issue with this side is that the 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 wire grill thing doesn't come right down which is quite annoying because I definitely had enough to do that and also over here it keeps pulling up and I'm not entirely sure what to do to fix it so I think I might just fiddle about with it for a minute oh, I want to walk into the bloody archway ow <laughs> ow I think it's good to see the problems with the archway now before we get you know into the squash going on it it's good to kind of figure out any any hiccups and this is definitely a hiccup so what can I how can I do what what can I do what do I do over and everything oh a stick a stick a stick maybe a stick I don't mind doing it like that oh, no actually it's good yes do you know guys you will be amazed at how many times the answer to a problem at an allotment plot is just to get a stick sticks are one of the most underrated things in the world of all the things that are underrated sticks are probably up there with like the top the top two or three of things that are just underrated there is almost practically nothing that you can't fix with either a staple gun or a good stick <sighs> though to be fair most of what I build does fall down so maybe that is not good advice or maybe it is. No one really knows. Look at the sticks. Look at the sticks. The power of the sticks. Look at what the sticks have done. I mean, it is mind blowing. Years of evolution, years of technological advances, and the power of just a few sticks stuck in the ground. Sorted it, fixed it. Absolutely perfect. I mean, well done sticks whoever invented sticks bravo fantastic job right, let's let's try the stick trick on this because this keeps coming up this keeps coming up this is bugging me this is annoying me so let's try a stick so if we put the stick through there now it needs to go through one more time that's the thing you need to get your stick thing right that's not gonna it is going to work, Emma. It's a stick. Come on, come on, come on. Stick, 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 stick. Stick, stick. That's it. You just push it into the ground. Through that. That bit of stick isn't good. A stick. Don't let me down now. That's it. Look at that. Fixed it. Fixed it with a stick. Yeah, that bird just applauded me. I swear that bird just applauded me. Thank you. I agree. Amazing. Oh, just absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, right. Got runner beans. Stick them all in. We're just putting loads in because we just, what we have to always do, guys, is just assume they're going to die. Always assume death. It's the first thing you must assume with anything you plant. And then over sow. Fabulous, look at that, yes, fabulous, lovely. Something is in the ground.
knackered, I'm knackered. So I've been digging this potato bed out here. Tommy, my son, came along. Oh, right when I start filming, they just start drilling. It's like they can hear my voice. Tommy, my son, he started digging out this bed and he did a great job, but underneath the soil is so much like perennial weeds, like bind weeds and like just these horrible roots of I think stinging nettles and stuff. It's an absolute nightmare of a bed. It's defeated me today. Um, I've been digging for a little while and uh, potatoes are gonna go in here and I wanna plant them out next time I come. So I'm gonna have some potatoes in here, but also if you come down this little pathway here, I have a miscellaneous bed here and I have quite a few potatoes left over so I think I'm going to whack some potatoes in here. Now this will be interesting because this bed here has not been topped up with anything. I've got no manure on it, no compost, no nothing. It's just a bed that I sort of made on top of the soil that I found, if that makes sense. Potatoes are supposed to be quite good at kind of breaking up rubbish soil and kind of improving your soil as well so i think it'd be a good thing to stick some potatoes in here and that's just what i'm gonna do i didn't check on the sweet peas did i let's do that together quickly oh gosh sweet peas some of them are looking not quite so good you can see the leaf miner has just had his way with them but some of them are looking very healthy and quite sprightly actually and happy so I think we will get some. I think we will get some this year. I think they will grow up the archway. Actually, do you know what I could do? I could actually sow some runner beans around here as well. If I'm just looking to sort of make it grow. Um, yeah, I might actually just stick some runner beans here as well. We're just going to have runner beans everywhere this year. But they are good growers. Yeah, I think we will get some. I think we will get some, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add stuff to it. I'm just not going to let those bugs get me down this year. Every time they eat something, I'm just going to grow five times more of it and I just I just know they can't eat it all they can't eat everything they just can't if I just keep whacking stuff in surely surely they'll get full at some point and they'll have to go somewhere else do you know what I mean have to go and have a nap surely they'll have to go and have a nap or something um we did quite a good job today I'm actually quite happy with the plot right now I don't feel so overwhelmed by it I think I could probably do with coming here a couple of times and just focusing on weeding and making sure that I'm keeping that under control this area over here have you seen this area this is the only area of the plot that I left and it's just I'd really like a greenhouse here one day but not today and that is just an area of concern but I think we'll survive I think we'll survive this year so i hope you've enjoyed my vlog today if you have do subscribe and i will see you again after the weekend have a lovely gardening weekend see you monday guys thanks for watching bye